day, good morning, good evening, good night, world. This is Havamal from our studio. And uh, from right to left, we have... Tell me, play guitar. Michelle, play guitar. There's Bjorn, vocalist. Andreas, I play the drums. Sandra, I play bass. And we are here to discuss a little bit more of a serious subject tonight. We're going to talk about Corona and uh, how it affects our private lives and also our society as a whole and also as a band. First of all, as you can see, we are sitting close together and this is actually in uh, the Swedish regulations. So we are allowed to sit like this uh, and it's a bit different from many other countries. Uh, Sweden has a bit di different approach to the virus and how to fight it. Uh, but of course, uh, lots of uh, clubs and stuff have, are closed. So it affects the music industry a lot in Sweden. Uh, as we, we aren't allowed to have any gigs at the moment. Sweden has a bit of a different approach from many other countries. Um, according to our uh, state uh, uh, guidelines, Folkhälsomyndigheten, we have a bit more of a leaner aspect on the virus situation. And in the hospitals, in the closed, uh, in the closed sections, it's really a mess, actually, because you, you don't really hear any, a lot of news about young people being affected. You don't hear a lot of news about the effects overall on society in Sweden. You, you, you read about it, but you don't really see the effects yourself until you're there. And uh, as a healthcare worker, I've been around in a few of the COVID, uh, the COVID sections of the hospitals I work in. And, uh, it's it's really it's really depressing actually it's like you got all those people wired up you got them lying with a shitload of oxygen and they're just like trying to find those straws of breath and air you can't really do anything about it and we're just overwhelmed and this does of course affect the other departments as well because you don't really stop being sick from the rest of the diseases that you already have in the arsenal just because a new one has uh, entered the stage. So we, we really have to divide our resources and the heaviest resources of course goes to the COVID department and the research facilities. So the rest of us is really, really strained. So I know that a lot of countries has uh, a rather harsh approach on this the isolation and the military and the police and everything like that. Um, but it's more of a silent harshness in Sweden around this. And you, you notice this when it's basically too late. So uh, society goes on more or less. You can notice small differences, but um, in the hospitals you really notice that uh, it's overcrowded, you're overworked, it's like we can basically forget vacations, we can basically forget proper resting time. You get called in like every day basically. I have friends who work 12 up to 18 hours shift six days a week in the most extreme cases. They buy their own gas masks and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a rough situation that we're dealing with. Of course, it's uh, affected us all, especially as a band. Uh, we had to cancel a couple of gigs here in Sweden, and foremost, we had to cancel a tour in China uh, that we, of course, had to cancel, as I said. Uh, but at the same time, we try to move on. I mean, we're sitting right here in a rehearsing room, and we're actually writing new songs. For the next album. So 
There is good things about this film. The thing is, Corona affects us all, of course, but uh, we try to see the light at the end of the tunnel. When this shit is over, we'll be back on the roads again, of course. We want to meet all our fans again. We miss you so fucking much. And uh, the album is in its final stages, actually, so uh, prepare your asses for a new Viking world domination. So, uh, from Havamal to the rest of the world. Adieu! Adieu! Adieu. <laughs> <laughs>